Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at the new Kimber Evo SP. The SP stands for Striker Pistol. This is a new release from Kimber. They announced the Evo SP a couple months ago and it is out and available now. I see them online, probably not at your local gun store yet, but I would guess would be within the next month or two. But this is the two-tone model. Now there are four separate models. This is the two-tone and you can see that it's a nice looking gun. Kimber does a great job at making guns beautiful and this Evo SP is no exception. Kimber said they have it right. They, they internally tested this. It fires all types of ammo. It is reliable. It is accurate and it is everything they want in a striker fire pistol. That, that's what they're saying. Now you may recall that they had the Kimber Solo. This was discontinued two or three years ago, and one of the main complaints was the reliability of it and the, the types of ammo that it would and would not feed. Now, the Solo is a shorter and smaller gun. We take a look at this. We can see that the Evo SP goes about three quarters of an inch, maybe a half inch longer on the slide and a little bit longer with the grip but when gripping the two side by side the evo does feel much better you do get three finger contact there and it does have two single stack seven round mags with that extension for the three finger contact now the grip is replaceable and if we look in the case here we'll see that kimber offers an additional back strap on an aluminum frame so that, that's kind of cool. So here's a large back strap if you want to use that. And then it has a couple other grip panels there that you could change this out and custom fit your hand size. But it does come with a padded soft case right here and two single stack magazines. So they, they, they offer quite a bit in the case. Now the MSRP on this is $856. And this is one of the lesser expensive out of the four. I check on Gun Broker, a little under $750 will get you the Evo SP. Whenever a new release comes out, it's a bit inflated. We'll see where that averages out at. But we look at the gun itself. It does have a 3.1 inch barrel. I already mentioned a two-tone. This is the two-tone model, and it does have an aluminum frame. It also has a trigger bar safety in there, which is different than the Solo. Did not have that. And we will check. You know, the, the spring weight's not bad either. But that trigger is, I measure it right at six and a half pounds, a little bit more. The website says between six and seven pounds, and I would agree with that. It does have a striker fire indicator. Okay, we can see there, a little dot there. You fire the gun or the, the slide does not cycle. It goes away. Slide cycles tells you that it's charged. Also comes with tritium night sights. And you can see that it does have a big dot in the front. Rear dots, not so not so bright, but at night, you know, they they glow pretty well. A recessed barrel. Okay. Pretty nice there. And the magazine release is reversible for lefties. And they have a tutorial on how to do that. But it, it does have a nice feel to it. It does have a sight hole indicator there. And on the top of the slide, some serrations. I'm not sure if you'll pick that up, but it does have some serrations. They say that's to cut down on the, the sun glare. All right, so it's not glaring off the slide into your eyes. Really not sure about that. But let's go ahead and get it on the scale. Then we'll take a look at the internals. Kimber is very confident. I talked to them at SHOT Show. They are very confident in this Evo SP. And the unloaded weight, one pound, four and three eighths ounces. We move that to just ounces, 20 and three eighth ounces. And we'll put a full mag in here of seven rounds. No round in the chamber. And that is weighing in at 23 and three eighths ounces with seven rounds. Another half ounce for uh, one more round, which would be the loaded weight. That trigger is... Not bad. There's the reset right there. So they, the, the people who have fired it, especially some of the people I talked to at shot who, who fired the gun at the, at the range day, they liked it. Now to disassemble the gun, it's very tight right now, so I need a little help here. I'm going to grab one of these pens. Where is it? I'll grab this one and push that pin through on the other side. 
you know, line that up properly. Kind of 1911-ish. Uh, I'm having trouble there. It's hard, it's hard when you're, you're uh, trying to work around the video camera. And that's where I'm at. But here we go. Now, you don't need to pull the trigger. And off comes the slide. There's your frame. And they, they, I like that. The nice color to it. And that finish is, uh, you know, mixed between a silver and a gray. What's interesting here is that they do have a dual recoil spring, but it has this cap here. So you just pull the cap off. And you can see on the cap, that's where your slide stop goes right into that hole. And then here is your dual recoil spring. Kind of short. And then here's your three point one inch barrel and then we take a look at the slide it does have front serrations it does says say evo sp there and then the kimber logo right there so there it is the kimber evo sp two-tone i'll be hitting the range this weekend and i will take you guys along for the ride we'll check this thing out and see how well it does if you like videos like this please subscribe and share I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.